Hi Leo, um, this is Ansha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and there's also a new website up and running and that is also charliesangeltarot.com I hope you will have a scout around and this is your reading for the 24th till the 1st of March 2020 and we've got the Enchanted uh, Dreams Tarot and we've got the Mythic Deck and we've got the Answer of the Angels and the Surrender Deck. Now if you're new, welcome to this channel and please subscribe and hit the bell just down there and just up here there will be a little eye appearing. Click on that, on that and then it will take you to the website. In a couple of days it, in the next couple of days there will be new uploads with regarding to reviews or other things so have a scout around and keep up to date and to my faithful followers the cyber angels welcome thank you very much for supporting this channel and thank you for sharing it with family and friends i do appreciate it you make it what it is you make this channel together with me it is awesome to have you on my side. As you know, I stand by the saying, together we stand strong. Okay, let's get started. And I hope you will enjoy this reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign and or your rising sign. First of all, you've got the beautiful card, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Um, means that your goals or your dreams are coming true. Boom! An end of difficulties, an end of face. So there will be more luxury and pleasure coming in your way on Monday the 24th. Don't worry, you look so worried as you have the Nine of Swords. Are you having sleepless nights? Are you too much in your head? Are you listening too much to people, what they are saying? Don't. My mum used to say, put your problems next to your clothes at night and give it to the angels and the universe and they will deal with it on your behalf. Okay, so that you can have a good night's rest and get rejuvenated so you can carry on. So don't worry. Um, the angels ha have it in hand, okay, so long you give it to them. And keep on manifesting for this beautiful new beginning because it's there and 9 and 9 is 18 and that becomes a 9. So there's definitely an ending, definitely psychologically and also most probably with other issues like your wish or goals coming true. If you wish a relationship, it will be there. If you wish a new job, then you it will be there, but you must manifest and stay in action. Let the universe and the angels know. Midweek you've got the page of pentacles, so that means news. This news will be for durability and long term. Like I said, it could be a new job. It could also be a loan going through because it's about money. It could also be a message from a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus or you might be meeting one of them. It could be with regarding to a new beginning that you wish um, because look at the moon or is the sun, no this is the moon in this deck, the moon is there and the sun, is, it's actually together, you've got the moon, you can see the moon and then you can see the sun. There is a new sun rising like I said, your wish is coming true. The news is coming in midweek. Uh, so long you get into action, get out of your head. But don't throw old shoes away before you have new ones. The Eight of Cups means that you are bored with the old uh, system or the routine and you want excitement and adventure. Well, it seems that you are going to get it. Awesome. Now, you've got the, at the end of the week, on Friday, you have the Knight of Swords, so you will be getting messages through cyber. This could be email, text message, or a telephone call that will bring you back into balance because we've got the Two of Pentacles. You've been balancing and hanging on in there, but it's coming. 
It's coming. Clarity is coming to you. The swords stand for communication, wisdom. Perhaps you will get the knowledge um, to get the clarity. Awesome. It will bring you back into um, balance, definitely. And it could be bringing you back into balance financially, these two messages. Or you could be meeting a Gemini Libra or an Aquarian uh, Leo. Don't give up hope, okay? Don't get stressed out. Come out of your head. Don't listen to what everybody else is saying. If you need to listen to something, listen to productive uh, comments, uh, constructive comments, and otherwise seek professional help. So you can get forward. You can go forward to a new beginning. If it is about finance, then because ace and then you're going on to the two, you are going forward. So you're moving the positive way. So ask a bookkeeper or an accountant for advice if you are stuck. If you are uh, getting offered contracts, then get advice. See whether the contract is sound. Don't sign anything before the 14th of March because it is a Mercury retrograde. Okay. At the weekend, you've got an other wish card. You've got the star. So definitely something is coming to fruition. A goal, a wish. So you've got it at the beginning of the week and you've got it at the end of the week. Or perhaps two wishes or goals are coming to fruition because you've also got two message cards. Wow, that is really awesome. The overall uh, energy is the Queen of Cups. This could be a lady, a mum, or a best friend for life, whether you're a man or a woman. This could be your partner. Um, she's a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. She is nurturing, she's loving and passionate. She can give you also the right advice as a mother. And if you're a younger person and as a partner, she, she lives with you, she feels for you and she understands you. So she will support you through thick and thin. She has a very nurturing nature. Then we have the all over energy. Like I said, you've got a beginning here and a beginning here of a wish or a goal and you've got endings and you've got two messages. You've got everything within you and around you and in front of you to make that dream or goal come true as the magician also stands for uh, goals. But you have to take action. You have to come into action. Now, if you are still, uh, if you need a little bit of help, then why don't you make a visionary board? Uh, cut out pictures from old magazines or go on to Google or internet, find what you're looking for and stick it on a cardboard background or stick it on the door of the fridge with magnets and then uh, you'll be passing there every time, a couple of times in the day and every time you see it, please car come or please relationship come. Just if you want a relationship, put or then put a, a wedding ring or a friendship ring in a picture on somewhere that you pass. If you want to get married, get a wedding rings, get the bridal gear, the bridal cake, everything to do with a wedding. Then make the universe and the uh, angels know clearly what you're wishing for and what you're longing for so that it comes to you much quicker. We have uh, the angel answer of the angel card and that is let go. Yes, you must let go, get out of your head and let go of the old, otherwise the new cannot come in. Let go, the time has come to let go of this situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be resolved or even why it occurred. Relationships are un, uh, uh, that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry, the universe and the angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then to release it to 
the universe. If you've drawn this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. What did I say? Let go. Okay, and surrender to. Surrender your need to always be right. Yes. And so let your angels and your guides uh, know what you wish. And expect the unexpected. Don't, don't tend to control things or expect how to go because it never goes according to plan. Something better is even more likely to happen because the angels know what you need, what you can cope with and what you wish. So that three in one will come to you. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Let the angels be right in this case. By yielding, not rigid, this will help resolve conflicts, improve your relationships as well. Also, the connection with the angel. If you're not rigid and you believe they are there um, and you let them do it for you, then it will come much quicker to you and you won't get frustrated. You don't have to feel desperate. Okay, so let it go. Let loose. It will come to you much quicker, Leo. Okay, if you have enjoyed this reading, then please give me the thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And if you're new, please join us in the life. Let, me, let us get to know you. And if you come into the life, then you will get your wings because then you'll be initiated and you'll be a fully fledged angel, cyber angel, and you'll belong to the family, the cyber family. I go live every day and give away free cards, but there is also super chat available and super stickers. And you can jump the queue with doing that, or you can ask a specific question by doing that. Um, so I hope to see you and meet you. Take care and have a beautiful weekend. Love Shah, Cyberman. Please give, remember to give us the uh, thumbs up and share with family and friends and I'll see you there. Take care.